Hello everyone, it's your options guy. Welcome back to another video. So what happened? What happened to all the diamond hands? What happened GME, AMC, Workhorse, Palantir, Nokia, Blackberry, everything down except uh, pretty much all the Wall Street bets stocks are down. Everything else was pretty much green. Uh, Tesla, you know, Apple, Microsoft, like all the big major players, all green except these stocks down like completely. <laughs> like I even had to get rid of my um, my GameStop put that I sold yesterday for for fun. <laughs> and uh, what happened? I was like, hey guys, like I I'm I'm selling the GameStop put. Come on, Wall Street bet guys, keep diamond hands like you like you've been doing. One more week, you know. I was planning to get a thousand in premium and use that thousand just to buy. PlayStation 5 for the heck of it, you know, that way I can say GameStop bought this for me, but no, <laughs> it didn't happen. I mean, it could probably still happen. GameStop might recover. I don't know, but anyway, so quick update. This is my portfolio. It dropped pretty significantly. It, it's down about almost $30,000 from, from where I was about last week. I was at 125 around there. And then I have all my money in pounds here, as you can see. So all my money in shares and in options and stuff like that. I even have margin, full power on right now because today was a good dip. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sell even more puts at the 29 strike. So basically, I'm trying to make money while pounds here is down from where, when I bought in. So that way, you know, by the time it comes back up, I would have made enough money in premium to basically just put me over from where I started. So once pound series goes back to around 41, 40, 41, my portfolio should be almost 140,000. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm just gonna keep selling calls and puts and everything. So earnings is coming up. Uh, I think it's been officially declared that the earnings is on February 16th. And I've, in my previous videos, I've been telling you guys, hey, you know, earnings might my, they're supposed to be um, February 11th based on their last earnings. That's the estimated date, but it's not official. It's not confirmed. However, I think now it is official February 16th. That's the earnings. So I expect now that we have like a confirmation of earnings, I expect Counter to run up from, from here. It's, it's already had probably like a three day, uh, like straight in a row with red days. So following the three day rule, the next day should be green. If we continue with this red day trend, we could see um, us going down under 30s. I don't think that's gonna happen personally, but I think we're gonna start bouncing back off from here. It was more of like just a sell out, shake off. And the thing that sucks is that pounds here follow like the, um, a very similar trends like the Wall Street bets type of stocks, GameStop, AMC, you know, those, those players. So unfortunately, uh, pounds here is kind of tied in with those in some way. So uh, retail investors just started selling off. And another reason for the sell off is because there's a lot of talk about this lock up expiration and people think there's gonna be a big sell off. Personally, um, I don't think that would be the case. I actually work for a company that, that has a very similar case where they give you stocks and, and stuff like that and Especially like if I was an early employee with Palantir, um, I would definitely not want to sell my stocks. I mean, you could for if you just want to make some quick gains, but there'll be no point, especially if you want to be, if you plan to be with that company for a couple more years, especially if it just I, IPO'd or DPO'd or whatever. If, if it just came into the market, there's kind of really no point of doing that. If you're already, if you're planning to be with the company for a longer period of time, if you're not planning to be with the company that much and you just want to sell your shares and then you know go somewhere else then i, I can see that being the case but um i see the the first case being more more uh of a scenario than than the, the second case so i don't expect a big drop off and i know like the whole soros thing that he's planning to sell all his shares and everything um what he's planning to sell uh there's someone that's planning to buy so just keep that in mind. So um, don't let this whole lockup thing uh, scare you. I think it's uh, it's actually a very common thing. 
So like this ha this happens a lot, especially with companies there. There's always a lock of expiration. Like it happens with my company. Like uh, I'm restricted to sell a certain amount of shares um, at a certain amount of times. So it, it just, it happens with every company for the most part. So, so don't let it scare you. But anyway, so as, as you can see, uh, it's my updated portfolio. I'm all in pounds here still. I, this negative 28,000, it's, uh, I don't really worry about it that much. Um, I'm just going to keep selling calls and puts and stuff when I see good opportunities. Right now, the, the um, premiums are really good. So even though I'm like negative 28,000 uh, from last week and this week, I'm actually, I've actually made around 14,000 in premium. So um, I'm basically making the money while I'm going down. So I'm not too worried about this negative 28. Um, I would probably be worried if we drop down to 26, 25 again, but I don't see that ha happening in the short term at least, especially with earnings coming up because earnings is going to be a big catalyst. If, if we push through almost 45 like last week, then I can see us pushing through past 40s uh, in the upcoming earnings. So, so that's what I foresee. Anyway, so, so again, what happened to the, the diamond hand guys? You guys gotta hold strong <laughs> what's going on like don't just start selling your shares uh, like just you know yoloing your money in and then selling your shares just like randomly uh, don't be like me with my gamestop put just yesterday you know but that was a yolo and that was more like for uh lol's sake if anything like overall um i'm this whole week i'm actually plus anyways <laughs> so I did close that position just to take a small hit, but overall I'm still in the, in the profit making plus gains of this week, so it wasn't really like anything really. But um, yeah, uh, just keep holding shares. Uh, if you're doing options, right now I wouldn't be buying options for Palantir. I would just be selling options. Selling right now is actually pretty hot because there's, the premiums are good. So if you have enough money to sell, I, I highly recommend it. If not, just keep holding and just keep buying the dip. Today was a good dip. I hope you bought. Um, I, I didn't buy in, but I did sell like a put. So I'm using margin around 30, 20, 30,000 for extra today just to do some place. So um, in a way I am <laughs> um, buying the dip. So that anyway, so that's my plan. I expect us to be around high 40s. Definitely, like, I would like to see that 50 around earnings, but um, I know there's some people that are like, you know, worried about the lock of expiration, but again, I, I don't think that should be an issue. And Kathy Woods and Art, they keep buying. So they keep buying, I keep buying. That's kind of like my motto in a way. Um, don't, don't let that be your motto though. <laughs> That's my motto. But um, yeah, anyway, so if you, if you like this video, go ahead and uh, give a like. We actually broke 350 subscribers. So thank you guys. Um, I'm doing this for you guys, um, making this video, showing my knowledge to you guys, how to how to play the uh, options game and how to sell puts and sell calls. Basically making money while your, your favorite stock is going down. So this is a perfect example of my favorite stock where like I basically bought at um, a high point and then it went down. So if I was just holding shares and I would just be like negative, you know, around 30,000 and then just sitting there with my hands or just sitting on top of my hands, right? Not doing much, but um, if you have a good amount of shares, then you can be selling calls and stuff and then making money while it's down, while you're waiting for it to come back up. So it's a good strategy. And then um, for those that have been watching my videos, you know that I've been down many times in, uh, you know, in my previous videos, I've been down like 30,000, 40,000, but then it just comes back up. So I plan to just keep doing the same strategy um, and then this is a perfect example of what to do if, if you got in like at a high point and then um, your, your stock just dipped like completely. So it's a good example of like selling calls and stuff like that to be making money while it's down. Um, this technically I wouldn't have recommended this play. This was more of like my kind of play just to like make some extra money like in different ways. However, it didn't really work out much because I was having some issues. Uh, when I was executing this place in Robinhood that day specifically, so I missed out on a couple like three or four thousand extra. But um, not only that, it cost me to buy at a higher point than I wanted to get in. 
so on and so on. But um, yeah, if, if my original play was just to sell puts and get in at a 33 or 34. However, um, I got in because I feel like we're gonna approach somewhere in the high 40s, possibly 50 if I earn So I feel like getting in around 40 doesn't really matter if you believe that. So yeah, stick to your plan. And then again, so this is my current portfolio. Remember earnings is on February 16th, it's coming up. And that's it, give a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.